Well, I thought I would do a quick video because this question comes up a lot with my students and actually we're doing this right now in my class so I thought it'd be a good time to work through some stuff. It's the whole idea of your rated, um, po <clears throat> rated power versus your actual power. So let me just get this figured out here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull up the old iPad and show you what I'm talking about here. So first off, let me just draw this up. I've got a battery here. Let's see, I've got a resistor. We'll call that our baseboard resistor. And there's our circuit. Now say you go to Home Depot. And in the Home Depot, you pick up a heater and it's rated, let's say, this one, 2000 watts at 240 volts. Okay, it's common one, it's a big one, but it's, it's a common baseboard heater. But let's say that you're not hooking it up to 240 volts. Let's say we're gonna hook it up to 208 volts. So let's just change the color. So we're gonna actually hook this up to, and I know it's a DC circuit, but we're dealing with AC when we're dealing with the houses. Don't get into that. Let's just talk about the math here. Now, what I find a lot that happens, and this is in my foundation class and in my second year and third year classes, are this. It's some people automatically want to build a ratio, a direct proportion relationship. So let me show you. Oftentimes when they're doing these questions, they'll say, okay, 240 volts gives me 2000 watts. Therefore, 208 volts gives me, and gives you this direct proportion. But the thing is, it's not a direct proportion relationship. You can't go ahead and do that. That doesn't work. So the reason why it doesn't work is this little formula here, E squared over R equals P. This here, this E squared throws that whole concept out the window. Because if this doubles, this doesn't double. My power doesn't double. If voltage doubles, my power quadruples. So it's not a direct proportional relationship. So you can't go ahead and use something like this and say, okay, that works. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut it out. Whoops, let me just cut that out properly here. So we're gonna go like this and say bye-bye. What we have to do is we have to look at the one thing in this circuit that doesn't change in this unit here. So if I went and bought this baseboard heater that is rated to put out 2000 watts at 240 volts, I know that if I mess with the voltage that this is gonna change as well. If this goes up, this goes up, if this goes down, this goes down. The one thing that doesn't change in this circuit is this. Let me write this up here. It's your resistance. That's the one thing that doesn't change. So if the voltage goes up and or down, the current goes up or down, the power goes up or down, that's not a problem. But the resistance is what it is. It's a physical property of the circuit, so it doesn't change. So when I do these types of questions, what I suggest to my students, well, basically a demand of them, is to figure out what the resistance of this resistor is and then place it into the new voltage. Let me show you what I mean. I've got this formula here, E squared over R is equal to P, right? I'm gonna transpose that figure out what my R is. E squared over P is equal to R. That's just a little bit of transposition, so I wouldn't worry too much about how that is. If you don't understand how transposition works, make sure you go back and check out the videos on transposition. Very, very important concept to get into your head. So we're gonna use that formula first off. So let me just cut this part out here and move this part up. All right, so E squared over P equals R. So what we do is we use this here to figure out what the resistance of this baseboard heater is. So we do the calculation here. So that becomes 240 squared over 2000 equals, and we punch in the calculator here, showing you how we're doing this all live and on the fly. 240 squared divided by 2000 equals, so this ends up having a resistance of 28.8 ohms. That's this resistance of that heater. All right. So we can cut the rest of this out now because we know what this resistance is. Let's get rid of all of this. Oops. Delete that out of there. We'll erase this. We know that this has a resistance of 28.8 ohms. But now we're not putting 240 volts on it. We're putting 208 volts on it. So we go back to that formula that we were talking about earlier. We know that the formula for power is E squared over R equals P. We have our E squared, 208 squared, 
over R, which now we know is 28.8 equals P. And in this case, we figure out that 208 squared divided by 28.8 equals, basically the power in this one is 1502.2 watts. And that is how much power is being dissipated across this resistor here when we have it connected to 208 volts there. It's not a direct proportion. And you see that that makes a big difference because this thing here was rated at 2000 watts at 240 volts. So we see a big difference there. So again, whenever we see a question like this where they give you a rating, use that rating to work out the resistance and then use that resistance and plug in the actual voltage that you're using to get the power. It's that easy.